Good morning. Welcome to uh, Arefu Pesting. Glad to be back at the Stalling Farm. So today I'm going to do a product review. So I was contacted by a company called CV Life. They sell like a whole bunch of stuff. Um, bipod, tripod, scope and, and everything else, accessories. So they contacted me and asked me if I would like to um, try out one of the bipod. So they actually gave me a whole bunch of a list of a product to try it out. I saw these uh, bipod, so I figured I'll give them a try and see how they, um, how they turn out. So anyway, so I'm mounting this uh, bipod. It's a carbon fiber legs, as you can see here. So I'm mounting it on my uh, FX crown, as you see. So, so far, um, it's pretty good. I like it and um, it's lighter i had a set of these uh, type of mount uh, previously from another company and it's just uh, aluminum standard size i mean cheap and um, this is carbon fiber legs so slightly lighter but yet it's very sturdy this particular model that i got this is a, a six to nine inches long with extension so as you can see here i can extend to that about overall nine inches and um, very very simple to operate and very steady and also the other thing that I like about this is it has a lever that I can do the canting of the rifle which is very helpful it has this uh, I think they call it S S something S mount or something but um, it's very handy I just tried it out so essentially I just uh, rotate turn the knob and then make it and then lock it in once I get my, my level so I find that very useful and also it come, this particular model comes with a, a Picatinny adapter so I'm, I'm just gonna take it apart right now here so what that does is is enable you to use two kinds of mount like I said the Picatinny and the regular stud stud uh, mount so like this so this is a very typical so it has a couple clamps on the bottom here so that does is um, right here. That just mounted it to the stud, stud mount. And um, with this model that came with this additional Picatinny adapter here, so I can mount it to my FX crown, so which is perfect. So I just uh, leave this on. And then uh, when I want to use this bipod, I just mount it on here. So, so far, like I said, um, is very robust built this uh, bipod um, I really like it actually you know and the price is pretty uh, decent um, I was I'll send you the link in the description and also um, they, they also gave me a discount code so if you use if you want to save some money use my discount code I think it's 10 10 ARP so you get 10% of this product if you order it online so again, like I said, I will, I'll give you the link. Um, they do sell a whole bunch of other products. So hopefully um, this is the beginning of um, some joint venture. Um, there are a couple of other things that, uh, that I'm interested in the website. So uh, hopefully down the road, I will be able to get an opportunity to try them out and then do a product review for you guys. So anything to save money. So these are like I said, they're decent price. Uh, I'm not sure how much they are. Probably like about 40 bucks US or less if they're on sale. So check them out. Definitely a cheaper option for higher end, like other, um, other bipod, more expensive. And essentially this thing, it does the job well. For me, it's just basically an equipment, a tool that I can use to mount my rifle on it. So it'll take a little bit of time to uh, mount it on, but it's not that difficult. But once it's on, it's solid. So you just have to line up the hole. And then you just tighten up this knob here. Oh, the stallings are coming back. So essentially that's it. So it looks really good on my, on my FX crown here. And like I said, the functionality is really good. It's steady, it's, it's very solid. Um, it does what it's supposed to do, which is give, give me a shooting platform. Um, instead of using a sandbag that's what i can use i can extend the legs to do a higher elevation um, or or use it on, on terrains that is uneven if i'm doing a prone but so far 
I like it. Um, it looks really good with the gun, as you can see here, and makes my, my rifle very stable. So if you're in the market for a, a bipod and you try to save some money, check them out. You'd be surprised how good quality they built this uh, bipod is. I'm going to try it out today and see how well it does. I'm, I'm sure it will, will function perfectly and suitable for my needs. So anyway, stay tuned. Um, hopefully I can get some shots of some startings. Cheers. 40 yards, four bunch of starlings are back. Let's see, get the first guy here. Shooting my FX crown. Wind is pushing right to the left. Checking my zero here, 31 yards. Zeroed. This is 50 yards. There's a dove there, but they're off limit. I'm just looking for starlings. Hopefully, the starling will pop up. I can take a shot. A whole bunch of starling just flew off. I spoke with the uh, farmer when I showed up this morning and uh, since I haven't been back for probably three weeks and he told me they're like literally millions he says he's just annoyed by uh, the sheer number of starlings right now in the area and I believe it's due to the the blue bear farm in the in the neighborhood here in the surrounding area so they just go there and feed on the blue bears and then they come here and uh, stop by um, so, like I said, the starlings, they do tons of damage to the, cr to the um, crops and to the equipment, of course. And then also the, um, the dropping is just for spoiling everything, uh, all the feed for the cows. So, they're making the cows sick. And then, of course, they carry diseases um, just like any other bird, like pigeons and all that stuff. So, I'll try to do my best um, to tag them one at a time. Uh, so, right now, the whole bunch of them are... At the roof on the roof there at about 100 yards so i'm gonna see if i'm gonna try to um get one okay so it's a bit windy but i'm gonna try 97 yards just gonna pick one there so the wind a little headwind. Okay. Let's try this guy. 100 yards. No, shot right over it. This one at 40. And it's down. Yeah, I guess I have to uh, tune in on my 100 yards uh, shot with my FX crown shooting the air arm 18 grain pellets so it's a bit windy so but I'll take a couple more shots to find my range and my holdover and I uh, should be able to tag one soon so stay tuned 68 Just missed it, right? Oh, missed right again. Wind was strong up there. The back, 45.
Another one, bite the dust. So even though it's windy, oh, another one there. <laughs> another one. So my crown is just popping them now. The wind, it's affecting my uh, pellets. So at longer range, I haven't had one yet. So this is my second attempt. Let me start to read the wind. So it's strong right to left. So at this distance, I'm going to hit whole uh, half a mil dot to the right and see if I get lucky. Nope. Try again. Close, but no. I wish I had my slugs. I did bring my uh, M60B, so I might have to uh, give that a try because it's kind of cloudy right now and the wind is really picking up. The pellet is definitely a disadvantage in this wind, but anything in the 40, 50 yards, the crown is still going to hold its own. Then back here at 68, let's see if we can get those guys. So this guy's at 68, I missed two already because my wind is wrong. Oh, I can really feel the wind now. 68. Let's see if I can do. I'm gonna do one full meal dot. Oh, that was so close. Oh, well, I'm gonna keep trying and uh, figure out what the windage is for today. I'm sure I'll get them eventually. <laughs> so stay tuned. See. Okay. Got it. So we should have the whole um, one mil dot in a bit to the left. Perfect. Another one landed. Another one. So one and a quarter mil dot to the left. More coming as well. It's the land. Yeah. They are looking at the dead one below. We can send them to join the dead one. Yes, sir. That's three for three. Another one here is slightly further, so I'm gonna hold a little bit higher. Yes, sir. So there you go. FX Crown. Just doing its job. As long as I do mine with the proper estimate of windage allowance, the pellet is going to hit exactly where I'm, uh, the gun is aiming for. So perfect. Double here. Looks like there are two here. Yes, sir. That's two. One's on top, one fell down. Two for one shot. Beautiful. I'm um, super happy with my uh, FX crown shooting the. Um, here I'm 18 grain pellet and I believe it's going at about uh, 930 feet per second. Yeah, it's uh, windy, cold. I have to put on my sweater. It's really like in the uh, beginning of August. It should be nice and warm, but uh, today uh, overcast, 
strong wind so glad i brought my uh, extra clothes so i can uh, stay out here a little bit longer okay these guys are 110 well let's see okay they're back juvenile you can tell they're light color I want to hit the autos but adults and juvenile doesn't matter the phone is starting you're gonna get it Hovering now because all the dead ones. Okay, fifty five. Got him. 110 yards. Very good. Now the two. This is unbelievable shooting at uh, 68 yards just dropping them every time they land I uh, got a cross here on them boom down they went so I just had to um, do a one and a quarter holdover for the windage left to right and just hit them square so it's like a video game really so my FX uh, crown is shooting really really well very consistent as you can see oh man just doing a flyby so when the uh, owner told me they're literally thousands, that is true. They can't get that many at this farm um, because in the surrounding area is all blueberry farm. And right now it's the season for blueberries. So yeah, tons of food to them. Um, now they're all landing over there. So I might uh, try to shoot them from there. So at the neighbor's farm uh, roof as well. So look at them, keep on coming definitely pick a good day today even though it's windy um, as long as I get my um, my windage correctly then it doesn't matter so that's that's the key thing is um, getting the proper windage uh, for any condition any timing of the, of the day then it's all good so there's a cat there sorry kitty all the starlings are were shot on that roof there 68 yards coming it's just relentless they keep coming look at the roof there it's crazy 
Oh, maybe I'll try to tag one over there. More coming. So, yeah, it's like an arrow assault from the Starling. Look at all this Starling. Probably 100 over here alone on this roof. Okay, 61 yards. I'm not sure about the wind, but I'm gonna hold it straight. Okay, 110 again. So we're gonna get lucky. Tons of starting there, but I can't see them. Got one, finally. Five yards. Hanger. Fifty yards. Okay, 50. Let's go for a headshot or something. I think I got him. Shoot into a group <laughs> right there. That was a fantastic uh, couple hours of uh, shoot here at the Stalling Farm. 
seeing some starlings obviously um, there were tons of starlings here so anyway I want to do a quick shout out to um, custom maple product Jay has sent me more um, more of his uh, 3d printed magazines so previously he had sent me M's 60b magazine here in a single shot and then um, I reached out to him and asked him if he could um, print me some other magazine for my crown so this this is one of them so this is the uh, the for the crown magazine so this is what it looked like compared to the uh, FX one so obviously these are a lot cheaper and uh, affordable and the functions really really well I just tested them today and the cycle really clean and uh, fantastic so I'm quite happy with these so um, yeah give uh, Jay a ring he also made me HW100 magazine if you have um, HW100 and you're looking for spare magazine these are it I tried them at home the cycle really good so these are the two orange one that he made me and then he also made me uh, an extra one uh, this is one shot less so maybe I'm not sure I have to check it in. maybe this is for slugs he also made me a single loader for the HW100 as well this is a 22 caliber so you just clip it on and then you load up the mag the uh, pallet here so uh, definitely gonna try them out um, next time when I'm out uh, rat shoot so hopefully the next uh, couple days and again I haven't been uh, shooting much lately I've been doing other stuff playing tennis for one um, so yeah but uh, hopefully I'll get back to it again and uh, continue to film so I'm gonna edit the, today's video so hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy it uh, shooting with my FX crown and then it showcase the uh, the new bipod from CV life check them out as well so uh, I'll, I'll post the link and all the stuff in my uh, description so shot lots a lot of them at 68 yards once I figure out the windage basically a, a one and a quarter hole to the left it's just dropping them like flies and uh, I think I, I have to cut check my account but I think I have at least 12 to 15 uh, starlings on the back of the barn well three of them on the top so at least 10 or 12 behind it so um, I'll do the count on the video when I do the editing so um, but anyway thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you on the next one cheers